What's going on everybody? Sunday afternoon, I don't know what, April something. I want to show you something. I picked this up here a while back. This is a Pelican Catch 100. See right there? Catch 100. Pelican Premium Kayak. What this is going to do for me guys is it's going to give me a little pond hopability creek kayak. Something weighs about 60 pounds dry weight. It's got high-low seating with a nice premium seat in it. Should be pretty comfortable. It's got all the footwell space I need. It's got a waterproof storage box up front. It's only 10 foot long, so it fits in most vehicles or on the roof of most vehicles. And um, this one, the guy already installed an anchor trolley on it. It's got a couple gear tracks in the fronts for my uh, rod holders. I use the Cabela Quick Draw. Today I'm going to do a little catfishing, guys. Flathead catfishing, maybe some blues, maybe some channels. I'm going to kind of look for it all. And I'm taking this kayak down the Trinity. Actually, up the Trinity. Hopefully, we'll find some catfish today. And we'll give this Pelican Catch 100 a try. I've been wanting one of these for a long time as a spare kayak. Something small that I could tote around to small waters. This ought to help me make it happen. No matter what you do on a kayak, you should be carrying one of these. It's the Assault Paddle from Backwater Paddle Company. This is the very reason that I wanted this 10 foot lightweight kayak is coming down embankments like this, getting into skinny water like the Trinity, you know, being able to get in here in this calm still water, has a little bit of current, and uh, do some fishing, guys. Oh, we had to jump in, or I was gonna lose that paddle. That wasn't good. All right, I'd have lost my paddle down down river if I had to jump to you but still good though all right so where my feet need to be oh this thing ain't stable as I was expecting it to be I'm used to my natives way more stable all right we catch anything big in here it's gonna be sketchy sketchy so I'm gonna give you guys a paddle stroke tip. You wanna bring your fist across your nose. You want your paddle head to go in at your foot and out at your hip. In at your foot, up at your hip. In at your foot, up at your hip. Bring your fist across your nose. You don't wanna get your paddle any higher than that. Just like that. Now this, this uh, kayak does not have a skeg or rudder. So it tends to want to walk on me. You can control that with your paddle stroke itself. Making choices about how hard you want to pull back on the water. Once you get the hang of it, you can get some speed down. I'm not really looking for speed today. I'm just looking to get there safe. All right. When you do bring your paddle out, at your hip, you want to make sure to bring the paddle straight up out of the water and not turn it at all because you create resistance if you turn the paddle head. I'm going to run these spooks up a little higher. Get them away from my hook. I feel like they're bothering the fish. Oh, there we go. Got him. Oh, goodness, guys, I didn't take long at all. That didn't take long at all. Oh, that fish is mad. Or whatever it is. He's angry. That's an angry, angry whatever's on the line. Oof. And I got no net. No net at all. That feels weird. He's thumping very strangely. Oh no, it's a cat. Or yeah, it's a big cat, big blue. All right. Oh, and I barely got him hooked. Man, sometimes it's hard to get these cats. I don't want to get hooked, but gotta get my thumb in his mouth there we go there we go there we go guys what do y'all think 
Look at the hook set on him. Barely got it. Barely got him in a cheek. Pretty tough skin though. Yeah. That's a big one, guys. It's not giant, but he's pretty big. That's a pretty big fish. All right. We were trying to do something here with the rods, which seemed to work, actually. Um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to move these one knocker spooks up away from the hook further. There we go. Eat up, bobber stop up. Now I can tie her off. Now I can tie her off. Tie her off. A couple of knots. Four knots. Four knots ought to get it done. She gets off of that. Deserves to get off. There he is. Right there, right there. He's my forearm. Make sure there ain't no slack. Got her. I got her. Oh, I got her. That feels like a flatty right there, guys. That feels like a flatty. That one's bigger than this one that I got in the boat. Oh, yeah. When she hits the surface, she's going to be mad. When that fish hits the surface. Oh, goodness. That's a big one, guys. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, goodness. Oh, she's going to roll my kayak over. If you knew how tight my drag was right now, guys, y'all be shocked at her pulling that drag like that. When she hits the surface, she's going to be mad. Oh, goodness. That's a fighting sucker right there, guys. Oh, yeah, it's a big flat. Oh, that's a big flat, guys. We're looking at 30 pounds, probably. That's a probably a 30-pounder. Oh. And she's really upset. Got her. That is enormous fish. Guys, I can't even pick her up. I can't even pick her up. Oh, man, that's a beautiful fish, guys. She's beautiful. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh. I don't know what to do with her. She's too big. Thank you for letting me catch you. Thank you for the awesome fight. Let her go, guys. Boom! Woo! All right. I have to say, that was an awful lot of fun. Guys, I'm loaded up, I'm getting out of here. Man, first stop, Turtle Central. Turtle Haven. I had to get out of there. Second stop, just landed those two nice fish, and then right after that big one, I let her go. It was just turtle, 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 turtle. They just, every time I hit the water with a bait, they were on it. And I just couldn't catch anything else. It just seems like they were just the dominant species in the water today. Fish didn't have a chance for all the turtle activity. So I did hang one more and broke off. 
Uh, it doesn't surprise me. I've had that mono leader tied on for a couple years now, so I should have been retying my rigs. Anyway, I had a good time. I know there wasn't a lot of fish. It's in a long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing uh, something different in crappie. I enjoy fishing for things besides crappie. Uh, I know my channel's predominantly crappie, but I'm not a predominant crappie fisherman. I'm a multi-species fisherman, so you're going to see me periodically fishing for something else. So, Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Y'all have a good evening.